Welcome back my art friends. Today we are going to paint a picture of an airplane. So the colors you're gonna need are blue, white, yellow, and black. Don't forget to have a cup of water handy for cleaning out your brushes. And I always use my same brushes, a one inch flat brush as well as a six, four, and one round brush. Don't forget to have a rag handy today and especially today because we're gonna use our rag to help us paint. So keep your rag handy, keep your brush clean and because we're gonna use it for paint. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start today off by just using our one inch flat brush and some blue paint. We are gonna paint just the corners of our canvas. So you don't need to paint a whole lot with this dark blue color, just the two corners of your canvas. Now from there, I'm just gonna wipe off the extra paint right on my canvas because we're gonna make the whole inside of this be clouds. So now that I've got all the extra off, I can wash my brush off and set it aside and I'm gonna grab my rag for the next part. So with my paint rag, I'm going to make sure that I've got a little bit of blue paint on it, but then I'm gonna go in with some white. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do circles all the way here in the middle, going into that dark blue on both sides, just circles of white. And then right here in the middle, I'm gonna take some more white paint and I'm just gonna make the center of this a little bit brighter, making sure that I don't have all light blue areas, but some of my areas are light blue, some of them are more white, but you could definitely see where the clouds are. I can even take the smallest amount of black, maybe drop a couple spots of black on here, and then kind of brush that black in as well. Remember, these are clouds. They don't need to be all the same. They can kind of be a little bit more willy-nilly and do their own thing. Now that I've got those on there, I'm gonna take my brush with a little bit more blue and I'm just gonna finish out this texture out towards the edge. That way my whole canvas has the same type of texture to it. I'm gonna let this dry. When I come back, we are going to add in our airplane. Welcome back friends. My um, painting is totally dry and I was thinking about this. Originally I had it going the tall way, which is called portrait style, but I think I'm gonna turn it and have it go this direction, more of a landscape. I think I'm gonna like that much better. So let's lay out our airplane. I am gonna use my number four round brush and I'm actually gonna lay it out using some watered down white paint it's kind of just like a drawing you can even if you want to try to do this with a pencil maybe but i'm going to use some watered down white paint to lay out my airplane so my airplane is going to be flying this way and what i'm going to do is i'm going to first start with a rectangle this is going to be the front of my airplane and from there i'm going to make a really long body that's going to come to a point so I'm gonna make my point back here so I know exactly where I want it to end. And I'm going to make this top part up here nice and flat. And then it's going to come down to that point. Same thing with the back part, but the back part's gonna gradually come up a little bit sooner. From there, we're gonna add on our back wings. So right back here, attached here, we're gonna make an angled line that goes up. It goes straight across. And then it comes right back down and attaches to the back of the plane. From there, I'm gonna make two little triangles. So if you look at this, it's gonna come right here and kind of come out, see that? And I'm gonna make one that looks like it's on the other side. Let's go ahead and add where our pilot's gonna sit. 
that's gonna be a nice big dome right here where it's gonna come up at the front and then gradually drop back off at the back. Now, of course, we need our plane wings, right? So this first wing over here, we're gonna see it behind our airplane. So it's gonna kinda of come up at an angle, go back, and then come back down. So that's on the other side of our airplane. But this one up here, we want it to make it right underneath our cockpit. So I'm gonna make a straight line underneath my cockpit. I'm gonna add a small curve to the front of it. This one right here is gonna go straight back with a small little angled line. And then these two are gonna connect. Now our propeller up here at the front, we're gonna start with a triangle. And then from that triangle, we're gonna make a teardrop shape. So this teardrop's gonna go up and this teardrop's gonna go down. So now we have the layout of our airplane. You can make your airplane any color you want. Um, I am going to make mine yellow with some gray lines on it. So I'm going to actually use yellow and white on my brush at the same time because I want to make sure that it covers really well and sometimes yellow doesn't cover so good. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to add yellow and white on my entire plane, but any place where there's a line, like where my my plane right here connects to my wing. I'm gonna take a small amount of white and just redraw that line so that I know where that line is supposed to be. So I'm gonna fill my whole plane in with yellow, adding a small amount of white any place where I might need to add a detail line later. Now that I have this part done, I'm going to go ahead and add some white with just the smallest amount of black right up here where my cockpit is. I want to make it look like there's a window. So I'm going to fill this whole space right here in with a light gray color. And I can even maybe add just a touch of blue towards the top of it. It looks like maybe some of that sky is reflecting off of it. I'm going to use a little bit of a darker gray. So still a lot of white, but just a small amount of black, just darker than my windshield is. And I am going to paint my little triangle up here as well as my blades.
wash that brush off and dry it off. I'm gonna add some little yellow, not yellow, white highlight curves to my propeller right here. Maybe even a small one right here on the front of this. I'm gonna add a couple of white lines on my airplane, just to show a little bit of highlight. And then we're gonna let this dry. When we come back, we're gonna add on our final details, which will be our black lines. All right, my friends, with a dry background, I'm now gonna go in and add in my detail lines. So I like to use my itty bitty baby brush for this with some watered down black paint. So I'm using my number one round brush with a little bit of watered down black paint. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make some lines on here to add small detail to my airplane. Now you can do these lines with paint like I am, or you can choose to use a Sharpie or a marker to do them. I just really like my, my paint lines. So I'm just gonna outline my cockpit right here and maybe add in a small break on the window. I'm gonna make that like a little V shape. So that's where the window kind of opens up and lets the pilot in, right? And go ahead and outline the bottom area of that. And then I'm just gonna outline my whole entire plane with a ghost line. So that's a line that you kind of sometimes see and you kind of sometimes don't see. Um, I think that just gives the painting a little bit of a an extra touch to it. it just kind of makes that airplane jump out at you. that we've got a nice bright yellow airplane flying in some really cool clouds. I hope you guys had fun with me today. Don't forget that when you're finished you need to pick a color that will show up on your canvas and sign your name. Also I never get to see what you're making at home unless you post it on our Facebook page Painting with a Purpose. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep up to date on all of our latest tutorials. And remember as always stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.